All right, episode number three. Welcome, welcome. Mission number three, we're going to jump right on in. Zoe had just defeated Ramirez when a dark new threat emerged. A threat fueled by man's desire to use knowledge for power. My lady, we have a new problem. Raspun and his ghastly order of the dragon are trying to gain control of Bishop Matthias' library. If its knowledge falls into their hands, the order will have access to powerful technologies. And I presume that is undesirable? Wars, my lady, are not merely won by force alone, but by whoever possesses the technological edge. I understand. Then there's no time to waste. We must beat Raspun to the chase. I am glad you are aware of the seriousness of the situation. Princess, I have a plan. If we want to stop Raspun, we should win the Archivist's favor. Living at the ancient library, he has access to powerful technologies. If we send clerics to help him with his research, he surely will show us how to use this technological knowledge. So, do not lose time. I warn you, Princess. Do not interfere with my business. The Order possesses powers you do not want against you. To train clerics, we need a church. As you can see, this beautiful village is missing one. There is already a basic economy. This will help us. To build a church, you need to beautify your village first. So, build some prestige objects for beautification. Okay, here we are. Okay, one thing I love about this game is it allows you to do an overview of the entire map so you can see what's there. So you can see what we have here, wood, fish, stone, coal, and gold. Next one's going to have, uh, oh, it has meat. So that would be good to jump to early on so we could start getting our, our military a little little stronger. This one says here it's got fortifications, so we definitely need to get, get to that meat quickly so we could take on this one this one's got some real strong fortification so i don't think we're going to be able to do that without the uh um the cannons so either way we need to get to this quickly there's only three in there we've got seven gold we could go ahead and and build a couple musket men i've got a few fancy food we could build a couple but we mostly need pikemen. Yeah, I think I'm only going to be able to do one and one. Okay. That should be more than enough. Alright, so what do we got here? We got our stone. Got a woodcutter and a sawmill. We can probably put another woodcutter out here. Uh, another woodcutter and another sawmill. We're going to deplete this pretty quick. There we go. Yeah, it's got to be enough to take this on. There's no fortifications here, so it's just going against that army of three. So it should be pretty easy. However, like I said, this one's got a tower, so that's not going to be easy to take on with, unless we get ten musketmen. Um, over here we've got our coal and our gold. So we can at least do two coal and two gold. Get that going a little bit. There we go. Uh, we got fish over here. That's some quick food. But definitely we want to start going on the wheat pretty soon. 
Let's just be this one. I'm just gonna do two. I don't want to deplete it too fast. They, they, uh, I believe they refresh as long as you don't deplete them. Don't quote me on that, but I, I believe that's how it works. And then definitely we're going to go heavy on wheat out here because wheat is real important whenever you're doing um, research and stuff like that. So if you're trying to build, if you're trying to, if you're going for church and, and novices and stuff, you got to, you need a lot of beer. And beer takes wheat. Over here, I got my bread production. I've got a mint, so that's good. I could probably do another mint there just to keep those two busy. Gonna need a butcher here pretty quick, so. so these guys just conquered that camp. I'm also gonna build a windmill. I, I can't neglect the food production. I want mostly uh, uh, grain barns, but I do want a few windmills so I can get some food. Excellent, my princess. There we go. Now, now we got that camp. Build a church. I'm gonna get another there pikeman are going. Materials in your storehouses, so begin your construction. So I'm going to get another pikeman going just because it's three and three. I mean, I don't think he's going to attack on these early missions, but as long as if I, as long as I have a bigger army than him, he, he shouldn't be attacking through here. And of course, I can't build fortifications myself, so we're going to make sure we have a bigger army just to make sure he doesn't attack. Now, about the prestige, you can build items like these prestige objects to increase your prestige to different points. And with different points, you can get all these options here. So, like fortifications, the abbey, church upgrades, street upgrades, all kinds of stuff. Geologists, geologists will allow you to um, uh, have a renewable resource on these, on these mines. So for this mission, we're going for the church. So I just unlocked the church, and right here, you're gonna need a lot of room for your church because you can put prestige objects on it. I don't My think Lord I need that much room. Take a closer look at your village. Maybe Oops. you'll discover some weak points in your economy. Oops! Come on. There you go. <laughs> if I remember right, the novices take regular food, so I shouldn't neglect the the grain barns and the farms and all that. Uh, there we go. Get another windmill and a couple more, a couple more grain barns there. Keep that wheat production going. I've got coal right here. I don't think I need it at the moment because all I need coal for is the gold, I believe. If I need it, I'll get it, but I want to get this church built quickly, so I'm going to prioritize that. This guy's asking for, for meat so he can make the fancy fancy food. So these guys need to get built pretty quick. Eh, might need more more coal. What I could do is I can take out these extensions here and maybe that one too and what I'll do let's see I could add my coal miners here 
and then turn these three into gold. There we go. So I got three and three. Put the coal miners a little further out because I could get more coal over here. That should do it. I just want one for now. Put a storehouse right there. That should be good. Now it's just waiting for everything to get built. Oh, Princess, there we go. Got a church. You are doing well. The new church looks beautiful in your village. Let me tell you a secret. You attract clerics with fear. <laughs> So, you should build a brewery to produce it. There we go. So the novices take two food and one beer. So yeah, they're a little expensive. Let's get them going. I don't remember how many I need, but let's just do that. So, we're going to start building our breweries. I saved all these spots on these houses to, to do that. And then we need to get some wells going too, because in order to make beer, you need your, your water. So, it's a good thing to put these wells near storehouses because that's who's going to harvest the water. So, whenever they're, they're, they have free time, they're going to go over there and harvest the water from the well. There we go. Put down three of them. That should be enough. I'll probably... With this brewery, you are now able to make beer and order your first clerics. I suggest to bring some food to your brewery. The worker there will be more motivated and work harder. He will produce more beer than before. Yeah, like he was saying, you can you can speed up the work by actually giving like the lower residences. Um, you can give them food, and let's see, it'll do output for all attached workyards times two, and then you can give them fancy food for times three. So um, let's just do see, that. With food boost activated, your economy will speed up. So I'm going to give that one plain food just to speed him up. But the rest of them, I'm not going to give him anything. Because I've, I've got quite a few of them going. So we should be fine. But uh, uh, you just got to watch your food. If you if this residence doesn't get food, then it's not going to do anything. Whereas these will keep going. So it's, it's good for a boost. But uh, if you don't have a re reliable source of food, then you probably shouldn't do it. When you're waiting for stuff to build and... and uh, build up you can just look at your economy and see what you're you're low on i can see i'm low on coal Delicious. now use this beer to train clerics yeah i'm really low on coal but i'm also low on gold too so um i'll probably put the extra coal miner here just to just to get some more coal going and i think we just trained our first novices or clerics or whatever they're called yeah, we did. There we go. Yeah, we got two clerics. Three. There we go. Splendid, princess. Your clerics are ready. Quickly, send them to the archivist in the ancient library, for he will in return grant you access to all the secret knowledge hidden in his books, without which we could not research powerful new technology. But how do we stop Raspool? The key to that answer, my lady, lies in science. Research will prove most valuable in defeating Raspool. And we need to build some more houses because we're population's maxed out here. And then he wanted us to send us send our guys out. Is it this one? This one. There we go. See, they want three three uh, clerics, and he will give me this technology. 
Okay. Access to the technology board. Okay. Clerics need some time until they arrive at the So there they go. So they're actually going to walk Use all the way over there in real time. And try to strengthen your economy. Once they get there, then I've unlocked the technology or whatever whatever they're giving me. On. Look if certain goods are missing and build the necessary production chains. I just want to have 10. I, I, I forgot what happens after they get there, but uh, let's just have them ready. Also, I've got money, so I believe I'm going to have to take this tower pretty soon to, to take this guy out. So I'm going to need at least 10 musketmen to do that. So let's make sure we have that. In the meantime, we'll make sure everything else is looking good. Looks like fancy food is pretty good. Uh... Regular food is going to be split between bread and fish. Oh, but... thank you, princess, for sending help to do my research. This surely proves your interest in my work and ancient knowledge. As a token of my appreciation, I shall now show you how you can access powerful technologies that will be of great benefit to you. Bravo, Princess! The Archivist is pleased and grants you access to his research at the monasteries. Now, as he granted you access to the technology board, you should do some research. Research ballistics, as this would be of great help in overthrowing Raskun's fortifications. Okay, there's the technology board. So that's the technologies we have available. So I'm glad I trained them up because then I can go for them right away. I need, I've got two, I need one more and I could go for forced march. So this one, geology, uh, stone cutters, lowered by four, lowered to 40% while miners do their work in 60% the normal time. That's pretty good. Uh, Force March, let's see. Troops move twice as fast, your prestige is increased by one. That's that's nice too, but I have to unlock one of those to at least reach ballistics. Now, the way this works is you could always start, you always start here at the science or at the crafts or at the other stuff you get later on. Now, the other guy can actually start researching this and that gives him access to that. So what I want to do is I want to get another another novice going so I can go after this. And then that way I can lock out any way for the other guy to get to ballistics. So in the later later games, that's going to be really important to to lock out other other players from certain technologies. I know some of that's a bit confusing. It'll make sense later on. But what we really need what we really need to do is get some more houses. There we go. Alright, back to our economy. We've got plenty of fish. How's our bread doing? Uh bread's not looking too good. Um we've got a lot of flour and we got a lot of wheat, so let's uh let's get some more bread out. How's our fish doing over here? Ooh, yeah, we're starting to get low on fish, so definitely need we need to work on food. So I want my science to be kind of a priority over warfare, so I'm going to raise this up here. Just, just to be a little higher than that. So we're gonna focus on getting clerics out. Anytime we our population gets bigger, we're gonna we're gonna pump out a cleric before we pump out a musketeer. Just so we can lock out that technology. I don't think the other guy's gonna go go after it, but oh, there we go. Now we got three. Let's research that. So the other guy could actually come in and and uh, with a counter, 
and go with four. So I sent out three and he could counter that with four and then it'll give me a chance to counter it with like five or something like that. So there, there can be a, a back and forth when it comes to some of these researches. So just because someone's sending their clerics there doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You can counter it with more clerics. And we just got four more, and now I can get ballistics. So that means we're going to have all three of these technologies. So that's going to be great. Ballistics. Let's see. What do we got? Long-range attacks of musketeers and cannons and fort. Musketeers, cannons, and fortifications cause 33% more damage. So that's good. So instead of needing 10 musketeers to take this on, I'm going to need less. So 33% less. By the way, we still got 10 musketeers, so we're, we're golden. But yeah, once we get that unlocked, I say we take this guy on. Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay, so on the road, we're going to have to take on this tower. And then as we hike through here, we're going to have to take this tower on too. So it's however many towers are between us and the castle or the keep or whatever. So we're going to have to take on two towers on this one. So that's going to be a little more difficult. I don't know if 10 would be enough to take on two back to back. Uh... I'm going to train a couple more just to be safe. Even with that bonus of 33% more damage, I still want to train a couple more just to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Looks like our gold miners ran out of gold. I don't think I have access to the geologist quite yet, so looks like we're done with gold. We need to make do with what we got. We just got a higher prestige, but everything else is locked up, so. With the help of this technology, Raspun should be an easy target. Watch out! He hides in the mountains in the north and seems to be well defended. Find a way to him and pay him a short visit, eh? <laughs> the order will triumph. All right. So we got all the technology research, so we don't need novices anymore. Can't do anything with our extra prestige level, so we are just waiting on... Oh. Waiting on warfare, so let's get... Ugh, let's get as many musketeers as we can. Take that on. Since there's no more gold coming through, whatever we have left is what we got. So we've got 22 more gold. That's got to get... Uh, turn into coin first but that's all we got so we got to make do with that so I'm gonna wait this out and try to get as many musketeers as I can before we take this on alrighty so I went ahead and got rid of all my my miners here since these are all zeroed out I can't do anything my my stone is gone so I got rid of the stone miner as well I changed out my breweries for like bakeries and stuff so because the I don't I got all the technologies I can get, so I don't need any more novices. Um, what else did I do? I got uh, got another mint, a couple more mints going, just to just to speed up the coin production. That's all we're waiting on is coins to to get more musketeers. Let's see, I've got I've got five pikemen, fifteen musketeers. I hope that's enough. Oh, sixteen now. Let's take it on. Let's see. These early these early missions are pretty easy so it, it should be fine hope my other guy joins he's running he's running to catch up oh boy come on dude get in there come on dude get in there go there we go <laughs> Just 
started with 16 and we lost four, so not too bad. We should be able to take this on easy. And we gotta hit this next tower. See now the problem is we used almost half of our, our ammo here, so we're gonna have to take this on with 50% with ammo. Thirteen percent ammo left. That's pretty good. And what do we got? Fourteen versus three? Yeah. Princess, you have been victorious again. The technological advantage is ours. And what of Bishop Matthias? Is he in accordance with us using his knowledge? Well, I'm sure he has no objection. After all, we did just fend off Raspun for him. But in his eyes, that may not privilege us to his assets. Perhaps I best contact him and clarify the matter. Oh, I would highly discourage that, my lady. Why wake a sleeping lion? The bishop need never learn of our conquest. But we would be dishonest. Perhaps. But why not claim what we have rightfully earned? You do still want to conquer Tandria, yes? Of course. Then perhaps the cause justifies the means. Fantastic. You won the game. All right, another easy one. So now we're we're getting into the technology, so game's gonna change quite a bit with with that. So my strategy tends to be go heavy on the novices in the beginning and, and lock out as much technology as I can to to stop the other guys from getting it, and then uh, and then kind of relax from there until you get into the the higher technologies. But uh, that, that's just my strategy. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you on the next episode.